Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lizette and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this everyday makeup look. Also, Happy New Year. I hope you all had a safe and amazing start to 2017. I wanted to start off this new year with something much more simple and something different, which I haven't really done on my channel yet. So I wanted to show you guys how I achieve my everyday makeup look. I know that for some people it's going to look like too much makeup, but this is just what I personally like to do on an everyday basis. Just a bit of a background story, I work nine to five, so the makeup that I'm going to be showing you guys today is something that I do in order to make it last all day long and looking very bright and very awake which I think is something that a lot of us that work on a 9 to 5 schedule kind of want to do. I personally want to achieve a look that makes me look much more awake and bright and I think that's what this is all about. It's very simple, it's very glowy, I go very simple on the eyes, I just focus on using very warm and very pinky tones. So yes, if you guys want to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, which you can do so down below. I would really appreciate all of your support and love, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off with primer, and I like to use this one by NYX. This is the Angel Veil Primer and this is my favourite primer to use on an everyday basis because it's affordable and it's matte so it's perfect for those people that have oily skin like myself. For foundation I like to use this one by Maybelline. This is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 220. For concealer, I'm going to be going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. And again, this is from the drugstore, so it's very affordable and it's perfect for an everyday use. It is quite medium to full coverage. And as you can see, you instantly look very awake and very bright in comparison to this eye, which still looks very tired and very dark. Now I like to place some on the bridge of my nose, on my chin and some on my forehead just to balance it all out. Now I'm going to set my concealer and I like to use the Beignet Banana Powder and mainly because I want my makeup to last all day long. Now to contour, I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade Walnut. I know that probably looks crazy right now and a bit too harsh but I am going to be blending all of that out so don't worry if it's looking quite dark. Now I'm just going to bake underneath that contour using again the NEA banana powder. Now while we let all of that bake, I'm just going to fill in my brows slightly, so I'm just going to comb them out and here 
I'm using my NYX Pro Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Espresso, so it's one of the darker shades and I love this one every day. It's very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz but it's just much more affordable from the drugstore. I think this is £6 in the UK. Now I'm going to set my contour and I'm going to be using my favourite contour product and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette and I'm going to be using this one right here. going to go in again with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer so because I like to look very awake and very bright during the week I'm going to go in with this shade by MAC this is the all that glitters eyeshadow I'm going to be going in with these by Ayla. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not too sure. And this is the Fleur de Force collection. I love her lashes. I didn't think I would like them as much as I do. Now I'm going to be going in with eyeliner and I'm going to be using this cream one by Rimmel London. Now for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Highlighter. It's my all-time favourite highlighter and I think it's beautiful, not too heavy and you can always build it up to the coverage that you like, making it look very extreme and very glowy or very subtle and very light, which is what we're going to be doing today. For my lips, I'm going to start off using this lip liner. This is MAC World Lip Liner. As you can see, I love this lip liner and it's almost finished. So I'm just going to be outlining my lips slightly, not overdrawing them, just kind of drawing out my natural shape. For lipstick I'm going to be using this MAC lipstick in the shade Angel. I absolutely love this lipstick for an everyday look because it's not matte but it's not also very shiny and glossy. It's absolutely perfect. I think it's the perfect everyday shade. Now just to finish off the look I'm going to be going in with this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!